I'm thankful for this day. And I'm thankful for this opportunity to remind you guys just how much each and every one of you is loved. Regardless of the works that you do or don't do in this world, I just want to remind each and every one of you how much you are loved and to maybe start seeing yourself in a different light. This transition is about stepping away from the way that the world sees you and maybe the way that you see yourself and to try to see yourself the way that God sees you and what his word tells you and his word is unchangeable. So what he tells us about ourselves it's true. It's the only thing that's true. What we tell ourselves and what the world tells us, if it doesn't align with God's word, then it's simply not true. And humility is seeing your true worth through the eyes of God. It is not about thinking less of yourself, nor is it about seeing yourself better than anyone else. True humility, it recognizes the special value that each and every one of us holds because God made all of us in his image. Every single person in this world, every soul is so precious. And Jesus died on the cross for us. And his sacrifice proves his love for each and every one of us. Sometimes we might feel tempted to put ourselves above others. Social status or knowledge. Whatever it is. Or we may even be tempted to put ourselves above God and go our own way in life. But both of these things, whether we put ourselves above others or we put ourselves above God, it only leads us further away from it. And on the other hand, selling ourselves short, it also misses the mark and it denies the incredible value that God has placed on each and every one of our lives. The challenge for us is finding balance, seeing ourselves precisely as God sees us, which we will never be able to do. But we can look to his word, his word that is unchangeable, his word that tells us who we really are. And when we seek his presence above all else, we can find that balance. Remember that he loves us so much. He accepts us. He understands us. He forgives us. He's the one who created all of us. And he loves us so much that he sent his only son here. In the flesh. The ultimate sacrifice. Who died on the cross for us. So that we could have eternal life with him. A life that goes far beyond this world. And what this world has to offer. His presence is all that we need. He's the only reason why any of this is even possible. He's the only reason why it's possible for me to send you guys this message today. So let's strive to view ourselves and to view others through this lens of divine love and grace that God shows us. I can assure you this, this perspective, it doesn't just change how you see yourself, but it's going to shift how you interact with the whole world. I love you guys so much. I believe in every single one of you guys. Keep seeking God. Keep seeking his word. And don't y'all forget, the only way is up.